Hello everyone and welcome to a new let's play! Whoa, what the hell? <laughs> I'm so excited you guys! I am so excited to pl be playing this game and from the title screen you can probably tell what the game is called. Uh, it's called Never Alone and the alternative title or the, the native... Uh, I forgot, it, was it Inuit or I forgot what it was but I think I think it was Inuit but it's called Kisim Kisima in Kichuna. I'm pretty sure I butchered it, but I'm just gonna call it Never Alone, as I should. Um, I heard a lot of good things about this game, and I had it originally on my wish list, and um, I was kind of hesitant on purchasing it, but I don't know whatever reason, but like the art of it, the art style of it really drew me in, also the story as well, so I had it on my wish list. I hadn't gotten around to purchasing it until I saw like a Tumblr post uh, like raving about how good it is and like you know how it really um like shows off the culture of like native americans up in the north and the story itself like it, as i had thought is really like well written and kind of also goes with the theme of like how uh the culture is and yeah it's just like just overall it was, it was a very it was a very good game apparently so i got on steam bought it and like even better was uh, the fact that it was on sale so you know like might as well sort of thing so yeah now here i am going to start this shit because i'm really excited to see what this is all about so to optimize performance it is recommended that your video settings be adjusted this may include changing video resolution okay uh spec okay how to do that though control God, I'm such a noob. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. But how do I how do I adjust though? Ooh, no. Oh, okay. Uh, let's play. I bought the DLC. I bought the version with the DLC and the original soundtrack because you know they were all like they were for both the same price when they were on sale. So I was like, you know what? I might as well just get you know the one with the package deal. So yeah, let's play. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Options. Uh, settings, video settings, I think we can keep the video settings on, yeah, subtitles, sub inside subtitles, let's put it su inside subtitles on because we want to learn more about, ooh, uh, yes, I want to confirm that, oh, no, I didn't want that, no, <laughs> no, so ugly, okay, uh, let's kick it up a notch a bit. Why did I even do- why did I even do that? Goodness, how do I put it back to the original? Ah! Is it this- is this this- oh god. Ha, huh, how embarrassing. Anyways, audio is- let's tone it down. Just a bit. Like around there. There should be good. Um, there. We turn. Yes. Can I can I up it notch a bit? Cause these these subtitles have just gone from like really nice to really like what the hell? Okay, anyways, I think we're good to go. Controls. Okay, I'm pretty sure. Okay, I'm pretty sure I got this shit. Okay, we turn. What's cultural insights? Oh, there we go. I think this is gonna um, gonna pop up along the way. So we'll leave that till last then, and then we'll go with new game. Let's start this. The Inupiat, oh, oh God, In Inupiat are the in Alaska native people who have thrived for thousands of years in one of the most formidable environments on earth. Should we watch the insights? Oh, maybe we should watch the insights like at the end of the game. Maybe, yeah, let's do that. For now, we shall go and proceed with the game. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Y 
ini ni orang yang hotel, anu kau tu guys, anu kelengah lihat sok, anu kelengah lihat pasion ni, kisah ma pandai ni lihat sebut, ni biak siaga lalu, kisah ma isum mekpo, tapi rasa kangen cakap aksi kasum man, anu kelih suru ku makan. Suman ano ko lang ay lahat magan. Tapos si kangit chawak si ka suman ano ko lang suro ko magan. Watch Scrimshaw. Well, we'll watch it afterwards, like we said. Okay, we got three new insights for us to watch. So yeah, but let's continue the game. Ano kulak pa siya ni sunira ka na ito ko ni? Oh! Tama na biyak siya ka rin walang ayong ito ko. Oh, we are the girl? We are the girl in the story that he was telling in the pictures? Pag-iyak ni ulak siya ko. Oh no! Oh no! Bears! Polar bears! Ah! Oh no! Hi, Mr. Adi! Run! Run, little girl, run! Run from the polar bear! <laughs> no, Mr. Polar Bear, I am not. I'm not sufficient enough to eat. I really am not if it's sufficient enough to eat. Ah! Okay, bye. Oh, he jumps too. Okay, bye. Bye, bye, sir. Bye, sir. Bye, sir. No, really, really. I really am not sufficient enough to eat. No, I'm just. I'm barely. I barely have enough meat on me, sir. Sir. Sir, please. Sir. <laughs> no, sir. Mr. Polar Bear, please. Oh, I see the Archie Fox. Fox, help me! Help me! Ah! I really can't do this! Ah! <laughs> I forgot to mention this is a platformer game, you guys, and I absolutely almost suck at platformer games. Like, almost. It's been a while since I've touched a platformer game. Oh god, oh god. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Ow! You're rude! I. <gasps> My fox! Oh, play in co-op mode? Oh no, I have no friends, so <laughs> you single player. Ah, my foxy friend! Oh no, no! Oh no, help him! Help her! Oh no, no! Oh, oh, ugh. Oh shit, yeah, wow, I didn't know I was in control of the thing. How do I... Oh. How the hell do I, like, attack... Ugh. Oh, well, what do I do? Do I like lure him? Okay, I really suck at this, you guys. I'm so sorry. Come get me! Come get me! Oh, shit. I didn't. I couldn't jump over him. I thought I was gonna lure him to the thing. Or maybe I should lure him to the thing. Here, am I light enough? Yeah, I am. Uh, hell yeah. Ah! Woohoo! That was close. Can you swim away, please? Go away. I'm a cute little foxy! Ah! Oh shit. I didn't mean to do that. I'm so sorry you guys. See, I suck at this. Take two. Huh. There you go. Okay, now I gotta jump over this motherfucker. You're so rude! Oh! Hello! Aww. Ah, hello. Oh, I can switch in between now. Okay, come, little foxy. Yeah. Oh, I want to pet you. Oh, this is so cute. Oh my god, I got a little pet fox. The weather did not clear up as a blizzard was followed by yet another blizzard. Close call. I got an achievement, except it wasn't much of a close call. I died like in the span of like 15 seconds, 20 times at least. <laughs> I wonder if it has a name. Oh, oh, it's so cute. Oh, look at it. Ah, <laughs> it's so cute. Of course not. I wouldn't either. Oh, that's 
Oh, am I playing now? Okay, cool. He wasn't an ordinary fox. Maybe he's a spirit fox in disguise or an act looking like an actual fox. Come, come, little fox. What should I name him? Does he even have a name? I have no idea. Wah. Right. I gotta get used to these controls, man. It's been so long since I've touched a platformer, like I've said. Ow! Tap to watch Arctic Fox. I'm gonna watch it. Because foxes. I love foxes. Arctic Fox. When I was growing up, uh, my grandpa uh, had a pet white fox. <gasps> if you're a good friend with a fox, when there's danger abound, they try to keep you from getting into trouble. They pull tricks here and there, and foxes are uh, like uh, spoiled little kids in that way. Aww. When you let her out, she go prancing out in the snow, jumping in the air. I know she was happy then. Come running at me and jump on my chest, knock me backwards, lick my face, and, and I try not to let her. So that was my memory of my grandpa's pet fox. Oh, that's so cute. Oh. I wonder if we should watch the other ones. You know what, let's watch the other ones. I, I changed my mind. I want to learn more about these, this culture. One of the things I think a lot of people need to understand is we aren't a museum piece. The Nupiaq people are a living people and a living culture. Even though we're in northern Alaska, which covers this vast area from Nome all the way over the Canadian border, is that there is this extreme value of interconnectedness and interdependence. It's a hunting society, a gathering society from thousands of years. This is what creates our culture. That special relationship between humans and the natural world and the animals. And that it teaches you how to have a, a society that doesn't do too much harm to the world. Love and respect for nature, for one another, for our elders, very, very fundamental value, key to, key to life. Our values are something that bind us all. The importance of sharing with one another, the importance of spirituality, and the connection to the land, our traditions, how we hunt, sharing of stories and songs and dances. I'm Inipak. I'm from the Arctic Ocean. Inipak Maruma. I am Inipak. It's very important to me. It's, it's who I am as a person. And we're very proud of who we are, and we want to continue that. So guys, in this Let's Play, we're going to learn a lot about historical facts on the Inupiat people. It'd be busy, busy, busy all through the day. You get up, and you just go right to work, you know? Right to work. There was always something to do. There was never any idle time. The only idle time we had was after we eat and before we go to bed. One of the older people would just be just relaxing, laying down there and saying, you know, it'd be really nice to hear a story. And then just organically, someone would just start telling a story. Storytelling for the Nupiaq people is very important because it not only created that sense of community, but is a way to pass on wisdom to the next generation. It was like TV, you know? <laughs> it was just like, it was as good as anything, you, any movie you've ever seen. And the storyteller told it so clearly that it was just as powerful as any of the greatest movie blockbusters you've ever seen. There was a reason behind the stories that we were told because they held traditional knowledge. They held things that we might need to know in life, whether it was about how to find food or how to survive, or it was about well-being and the importance of connecting with people and being a good member of the community. We all do stories. We all live in stories. 
We all tell stories to our friends. And, and they need to be told. They need to be heard. And I think we are... One more. One more, you guys. Scrimshaw. So Scrimshaw is this really beautiful method of art that's done either on baleen or ivory. And traditionally, it was used to tell stories. Each etching is telling a story of some event. Uh, caribou hunting was taking place. This is what was going on. War began around this time. And so it sort of gives you a timeline of history through etching. An elder or the person who carved it would literally be able to read the Scrimshaw story. They're like reading a book, in a way. A lot of the storytelling traditions would be things that after the storytelling was done, we'd just rely on the next person telling it. And so Scrimshaw is a very important way for Alaskan Native people to record their history. This is all so like interesting and fascinating to really learn. Okay, but anyways, let's go back to go back to the gameplay now. But we're gonna continue on. I'm gonna continue on doing uh, these uh, cultural insights video as they are unlocking. So we don't. I guess it, just so that it doesn't pile up and we just gotta sit through like you know maybe like I don't even know how many. There's 24 of them. So we don't have to sit through it at the end of the game to like watch through it all. Unless, you know, that's how you want to do it. But I'd rather prefer if it doesn't pile up. So let's go back and continue our adventure as, as, um, uh, what the hell? There we go. Oh. Oh wait, it's ASD. I'm sorry, I was like hitting the arrow keys. I'm like, why is it working? But it's ASD. ASD, W-A-S-D. <laughs> Climb. By the oh, we gotta we gotta switch to the fox and then we gotta climb the wall. Oh my god, yeah, climb, little buddy. Eh. I want a pet fox. Nuna, we are Nuna. Aww, except Nuna is like in Korean. It's like big sister. Oh whatever, it's a cute name, Nuna. I am Nuna, but you are fox. I n still need to name you. Ah, it's windy. Oh my little foxy, no. Come, come, come. It's okay, you can do it. Whoa, 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 oh shit! <laughs> oh, oh, uh, we jump. Oh wait, <laughs> I didn't need to jump. I thought it was like a big drop. Hey, little foxy, so cute. Okay, where are we trying to get back to our village? We seem to be pretty far lost, I guess. So yeah, because the blizzard just. Oh, okay. Ow! <laughs> oh, are you okay? <laughs> Because the, the blizzard seemed to have gotten us lost. Oh, checkpoint. Control. Ooh. Oof. That was embracing at all. <laughs> uh, left control. Okay, so right here. Left control is like that. Okay. Continuing. Uh, uh, racing. <laughs> I really wish we could switch to the arrow keys because I can't really reach the brace control and the WASD to move. Ooh. Watch. Go hey, I. Stop. Watch caribou skin clothing was best. Okay, we can do that. Let's do that. Oh, how do? Uh, culture insights. There you go. Let's watch. Caribou was... It, it provided for us in many ways. Our clothing in those days was made of all caribou skin. I grew up wearing Caribou bands, mittens, caribou skin mattress, blankets. Some people had boots that were made with wolf leggings, sealskin sole bottoms. Baleen was shaved to make insoles. They kept us quite dry and warm as well. But the caribou skin clothing was the best. We would get as many yearlings as we could for our outer clothing. And for a heavy winter, we would get caribou in February or March because the hair was the longest and the skin was the thickest and we would use those for our winter gear. With that stuff on, you could sleep outside in 50 below and it wouldn't bother you a bit. Whoa, oh my god. Yeah, it looks so warm. 
I always thought those clothes were, they look so warm. And I kind of want to try wearing them. Anyways, let's go back and, oh, stop! I can't, I need to fix this, because, like, I, I really can't hit, I really can't hit the control for the brace and, like, to move at the same time. Uh, controls. Is it not changeable? Really? Can I not change them? Oh. Fine. I'll just have to deal. Ugh. Come. Ah, shit! <laughs> this is what I mean when I, like, can't hit the control brace and, like, the... Oof! Okay. So many things are happening and it distracts me. <laughs> ha! No, I <laughs> stop. That wasn't fair. I was like recovering from like a jump, and you. Uh. Oh. 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 Wow. You. I'm pretty sure you are like a spirit fox. Are you, can I slide down? Oh, nope. <laughs> I, I think I was meant to stay on it. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> I'm so dumb. Okay, anyways. <laughs> Okay, there we go. I like interrupted him the last time, which is then I want to hear what he has to say. So, uh, what do I do? Ah, switch to Foxy. Hello. We are on you. Oh, oh, you're moving. Oh, oh my. Okay. Yeah. Come, come, Nuna. Let me guide you. Oh. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, you, you sure can jump, Nina. Good, good. Good, good. And uh, huh. <laughs> Oh, watch Sila has a soul. Okay. Ooh. I'm sorry, but I just really like watching these things, you guys. We get to learn so much about, like, this culture. Sila is the weather. Ah, okay. It also means the atmosphere. Here's the Nuna, or the land. And it's anything from the land into the moon, the sun, the stars. That's Silla. It's, uh, it's a very spiritual, and we have a relationship with Silla. Uh, Silla has a soul in the same way we do as people, in the same way animals do. I think spirit helpers in and of themselves are really about how we're connected with things. And so it may be that there is a spirit helper that shows themselves as a bird to show you the way home. Or it may be a spirit helper that actually decides to show themselves with the face and body of a man instead of their animal form. And so I think one of the things that's hard to understand is that it's not one way of seeing things. It's one way of knowing you're connected to everything. Ooh, okay. We've always had that spirituality of everything around us. It's the interaction you have with the air you breathe, the, the ocean that you gather resources from, the rivers from which you gather fish, the tundra from which you pick berries, the animals that give themselves. It's, it's all of all of that. Okay, okay, so we're pretty sure we're gonna meet more spirits along the way thanks to like our little fox friend. Oh, that's so nice. Okay, back here again. So, wah! A and jump. Oh, wall jump. I'm gonna wall jump. Okay. Huh. Oh, wait, hold on. Huh. Okay, yeah, I did. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, uh, uh. don't fall off now. 
I gotta help you up. Okay, okay. Got it. That's okay. No, no, hold on. Come this way. No, no. No, no, please. There we go. Up we go. There we go. Okay. Uh, you expect me to jump from that? Or you want to get up? No? Okay, I guess I'll... Uh, uh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Oh, it's so cute. <gasps> really? We found a way back home? Okay. Oh, wait. Don't do that to me. He was in the middle of talking and I was listening to him. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> that was my bad. <laughs> that was my bad. I was like, I misjudged the jumping distance. Anyways. Okay, let's try this again. And no wind blowing. Ah, no! I s just what I said. Don't blow any wind in my face. You just decide to do that. What a bitch move. Okay, come on. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Are we gonna find our way back home? Hopefully. Huh? Shit. I always like jump too early. <laughs> my bad. Oh my gosh. See, this is what I mean by I suck at platformers, you guys. It's been so long. Don't. No. <laughs> Don't do it. Let me just jump in peace and not drown myself in Arctic freezing water. Okay. No. See, I felt that coming. No. Stop it. There you go. Ha! Oh, I nearly like messed up again. Okay, cool, cool. We cool. We cool. We Gucci. That's a big, huge wall. Oh, we got it. We got to crouch. How do I crouch? Uh, crouching. Oh, there we go. Can we? No. Okay, that doesn't work. Um. Oh, maybe we gotta switch to fox. Yeah. There we go. Foxy. I still need to name you. What do I name you? Oh. Come on. Oh, hold on. I gotta get a running jump or some shit. <laughs> Come on. You can do it. Ugh. Hold on. I got this. Mr. Owl. It would be very helpful if you were to help me. Oh, there you go. I ball jump. Ah, oh, yes. There you go. That's how you do it. That is how you do it. Oh, hey. Spirits. Spirits, help my friend. Help her. Help her. Oh, you want me to jump that? Okay. Oh. Oof. Uh. Hiya. Oof. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it fell off. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> okay. Where are we going, though? Huh. Okay. Nona! Nona, can you get up here? <laughs> Nona! Come. Nona, come. There we go. Okay. Where are we going? Oh! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah! That, that was a weird angle. Okay. I couldn't see where I was jumping. Huh. There we go. Uh. There. Come, Nona! Nona, get over here. Nona. <laughs> I gotta make you. D I gotta do it for you. Oh, watch the trapping trail. Okay, let's do that, and hopefully it doesn't like freeze on us. Play. In the winter, when we were traveling, we didn't build sod houses. We built snow houses. Yeah. In Canada, they call them igloo. Yeah. But here in Alaska, we call them apuya. Okay. We do a day of travel, and then we'd make a apuya. The next day, my father would set traps, spend the day there, rest the dogs, give them something to eat, and then the following day, we continue to the next place. We'd go to my dad's sister, who had a house at the barn. They had a small sod house over there. We didn't have to do anything. We just visit with them, and my dad and my sister were glad to see each other and they'd talk away whilst kids played outside or go to sleep. 
by the time we get back to our home, my father would leave us with our aunt or with my grandmother. And then he'd start on his trips and go check his trap line. We were not into eight to five kind of time, you know. We're in a totally different kind. We're in ecological time. Yeah. That's why I was confused at whether or not this was about the Inuit people up in like in, in Canada. That's what the West that we would call them. But it's the Alaskan territory, so that's like more that's the US place with Inupiat people. So yeah. Okay, back to the story. Okay, let's go. Let us go, Nuna. Woo okay, don't make me jump. Okay, cool. Oh I gotta jump. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, it's checkpoint save. Uh, where? What am I jumping to? Yeah, I'm just gonna jump blindly. Oh, okay, oh. cool. Oh, spirits! Ah! <laughs> okay, spirits, help me! I, I, I can't, I can't jump. I can't reach you. I. Oh, there's more of you. Okay, okay, cool. I'm gonna get you, dude. Don't worry. Uh, no! Ah! <laughs> I sh I didn't ah! I didn't hit the right button. I like panicked because I saw the wind coming and I like totally missed the button. Stop! <laughs> I'm trying to climb here. Stop doing this to me. Okay. Ah! Yay. Ah! Okay, cool. I wonder if in Nuna can get here. Nuna, can you get here? Oh, what? Luna. Uh, I'm like scared of the wind. I like feel it coming. There we go. I like felt it coming. Okay, good. Okay, Nuna. Come up. There we go. Uh, what do I do now? What? Okay, there we go. <laughs> you guys are so slippery. <laughs> <laughs> Oh goodness. Okay. Away we go. Ooh. <gasps> Why? <gasps> oh no! Oh no, our village! What? Why is it on fire? What? Hey! That's not nice. Oh, homecoming. Well, <laughs> nice homecoming. Jesus. That's rude. Hello? Oh no, 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 don't kill people. No, that's so mean. What? <laughs> it is said that with each gust of wind, the powdery snow blew in every direction. Okay. Hey, that's not very nice of you, mister. <laughs> Yeah, why is, what did you what did we ever do to you, sir? That's so rude. <laughs> Anyways, I think I forgot to mention that uh, for those of you who were interested in the game, probably have looked it up or something on the Steam uh, community, the Steam site. Ooh, spirits! Oh, performance is low. The game performance will be improved by adjusting your settings. Would you like to go? In your lip Oh, you care so much about me. Thank you. 
Anyways, as I was saying, um, the story of this game is that, yeah, we play as this little girl and her fox, and we're trying to figure out, uh, what's the cause of this blizzard, and I'm pretty sure she has to, like, traverse through the wilderness and the terrain to, like, find the spirit that's causing this, I think it was? And yeah, I think that was, like, the main... <gasps> what was that? Yeah, what the hell was that? Oh, little people. Oh, little... oh, okay. Wow. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Don't do this. Oh no. Oh, well then. That didn't really work out. Stop it. <gasps> Red, Mr. Fox, you like made it. Holy shit. Okay. I guess I'm playing you. Whoops. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to push Q. Ah, no. Don't fall off. Don't fall off. Because you're the only one who made it up there. Okay. Don't worry. Don't worry, Nuna. I will save you somehow. Oh. Huh. Or do I have to actually drop down as the fox? Oh, okay, this wind is like seriously throwing off my game. Stop. And by my game means that I can't do anything right now without having to brace myself every like two seconds. Ah. Stop. Seriously. No, stop. Stop blowing me in the face. Ah. Oh, oh, See, this is what I mean. This, this is exactly what I mean. Stop it. Ah. <laughs> Shit. Oh, I'm gonna be stuck here for a while. Okay, maybe we gotta we gotta jump when the wind kinda pushes us forward. Maybe that'll give us a boost. Okay. Nope. There we go. Ah! <laughs> Shit! I flew far! Holy crap! <laughs> I don't think that was meant to happen. <laughs> Shit. I think I flew out of range, you guys. <laughs> Shit. I flew out of range. Oh no. I I thought... Oh god. <laughs> Shit. Reset from checkpoint. Yes. So we got little people scavenging our village now. Hello. I can't really interact with them because they're in the foreground. Okay. Oh, oh, got it! Okay, that was a good timing. Okay. I think I like jumped too early when the wind blew and we just kind of flew out of the game. <laughs> Shit. That was hilarious. Okay. Anyways. So many happenings in this, this game so far. I'm struggling so hard. Okay, little people. Oh, it's the loon. Are you gonna help me? Oh, I will be. I will be the the fox. Loon. Ah, uh, how to? Do I got wall jump? Oh, oh, oh. Ugh! I got it. <laughs> nice. Okay, come Nuna. Yeah, come Nuna. Thank you. Thank you, Loon Spirit. Uh, is this where is this where we're getting off? Are you uh are you gonna stop? Okay, there we go. There we go. Come. I win today. Oh. Oh man. What? What's down here? Oh, I thought it was a tunnel, but I guess not. We literally just gotta jump over. Come Nina. Huh, oh, owl man. How do I jump over the owl man? あの、ま、いいしまねっか。いしもりだったね、ベアシャラ。あの、聞いたほら、顔の上がいっぺん。ペラオティがピーオッコ。おう。いかよこねやがらいっぺん、ケモン。だいななけ。せばげてらが。オ
Yeah, we can. Dee 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 dee. <laughs> oh, there we go. Watch the heartbeat of the community. Oh, so every single time we like come across the owl, we get a little of culture insights. Drum is something that's common to all cultures in Alaska. All cultures have a drum that may have some stylistic differences or differences in the materials that it's made, but it's still a recognition of life and vitality. And the drum mirrors the heartbeat. And when you continue drumming soon, it will be in line with your heartbeat. Because that's what it's supposed to be, the heartbeat of the community. And it symbolizes vitality. And it's, it's the most tremendous feeling to be in a room and to have one long row of all the drummers and to have that feeling of unity, everyone beating in harmony, the drum beat in unison. It's the most beautiful feeling. And to know that you're connected, you're on the land that you are connected to. And even if you grew up outside of the community, that which is in you comes from this area. And it's, it's the greatest feeling. <laughs> That's cute. Okay, so we gotta go find his drum. And, uh, don't know where. We're... Oh, we gotta use. I still need to name him. Maybe you guys can give help me name the fox. What should I name the fox? Should I, name... should I just name the fox Snowball? <laughs> Snowball the fox. Or Snowflake. Or what was the control? L control. Control. Uh, uh, what was it? I forgot what was the control. What did you tell me? Ah, game! Game! <laughs> oh, nope, I didn't want that. Controls. <laughs> Options. Controls. L control? L, sh L shift. Okay. Got it. L shift. Where my shift at? Left shift. G there you go. <laughs> uh, we gotta go back to Nuna, and then you're gonna climb this rope, Nuna. Come on, nah. There we go. I'm just gonna name you Snowball. Snowy or something. Snowshoe. Oh, sh little people. Oh my, okay, so you want me to. Yep, it's one of those. W Is it the wind trick again? Wah! <laughs> I made it! Oh god, this is gonna be tricky. I'm gonna slide right the fuck off. <laughs> Unless. <laughs> Oh, Snowy! You got it! Okay, cool. Cool, cool. Now, uh... Oh, shit. Okay, I can do this. No, I didn't do it! <laughs> oh, wait! I, oh, I made it! It's okay! Huh. Hello, why are you... Why is this... What? Grab and move. Okay. A and left sh and shift. Come this way! Ugh, come on, Nina! There we go. Can we explore over here? <gasps> What's over here? Oh, nothing. Okay. Okay, Snowy. We got this. Oh! <laughs> Hold on, Snowy. I'm a little clumsy, but it's okay. There we go. Come, Snowy. Snowy, come. Or not. Oh, or not. <laughs> Can Snowy make that jump? I wonder. Uh, snowy. Oh, I guess not. I guess Snowy's gotta go a different way. Ooh. Wait, hold on. Hold on, I got this. Nope, there's no wall I can, like, wall jump for this shit? Ah, hold on. Oh, wait, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got this. I got this. I think. Grab that. Pull it. All the way over here. Yeah. There we go. Now. 
Now I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna switch over to to Snowy. Oh, wait, hold on, wait. No, no, you push this. Uh, push it, push it. You can't push it. You only grab it. Oh God, Nuna. Why Nuna? <laughs> Why Nuna? <laughs> okay, hold on. Ah. Uh. I know there's a rope over there. Uh, okay, fine. We'll go back to like where the owl is. Uh, can I? Can I not? Uh. Really? Okay, hold on. I can only really pull, can I? Huh? Oh, Jesus. Okay, well, I'm gonna reload the last checkpoint. Cuz... Okay, where my box at? There you go. Oh, wait, no! I can drag it this way. Oh. Uh. Nope, I can really only drag. Come. Urgh. Snowy, why would you make this so hard on me? Okay, anyways. Let's drag it up to right here. Gonna get up on it. Ah, come on. Come on, E. Can I grab the owl? <laughs> Mr. Owl! Yay! I unlocked, I unlocked it! Okay, cool. I got my owl. I got my little CG thing. I'm in my thing. Okay. Okay, I definitely need to move the box over to that way. I'm pretty sure. Because there's nothing here. There's literally nothing here. Okay. Fine. No, no, if you could drag a box, why can't you- If you can pull a box, why can you not push a box? Oh wait, I can push a box, okay. Then why the hell did it, why the hell couldn't I like, what? I could totally push a box. Why didn't it work last time? Eh. Eh, okay. I'm gonna jump. <laughs> My fingers, I'm gonna jump over. I'm gonna try to push it, the rest of it. I really can't push, can I? Oh, no, no. God, no, no. <laughs> Fine, no, no. Be like that. Okay, but anyways, I'm pretty sure. Uh, oh. I didn't do it right. Oh. Oh, I got it! I got it! I got it! Okay, I just have to like freaking try my hardest. There, go. There you go, Nana. Okay, grab on, Nana. There we go. Uh, I guess we drop down here. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> little people! Greetings, little people. Hello? Ooh. Oh, hey! Sorry, sorry to to ruin your powwow. Oh. Ah, she and the bleeding sooner. It took to some. Oh no 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 no! Don't push that. No, don't don't do that. No, don't do that. Huh. Oh. Why did my fox jump off? <laughs> what the hell, Snowy? Oh God. Ah. Ah. Oh, never mind. It was a fast time event. It was quick time. It was a quick time event, and I totally screwed up my jump. Okay, let's do this again. Indiana Jones! Indi- ah! <laughs> Indiana- Ah! <laughs> Shit. Oh my god, I really suck at this. I'm so sorry. Okay, let's try this again. Indiana Jones! Ah! ah! I really don't know how far I have to jump. Ah! Oh, 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 Jesus. Oh, I fell off. Oh, I didn't even see that there was a platform. Oh my gosh, I didn't even see that. Oh my god, okay. Okay, this... 
I understand how this is getting a little. This what? No! Oh. Oh my god. Okay, I can see how this is gonna. This is getting like really hard because like. Oh! oh! <laughs> Snowy, you're supposed to dodge that. <laughs> Snowy. Okay, we gotta we gotta make him throw it all the way to the far end. Oh shit. Oh, well, that's kind of close. Hey, throw it here. Yeah. Ah! Okay, cool. Hey, throw it here. Throw it here. Ah! Ah! <laughs> shit, that was really close. Okay. Oh shit, no, <laughs> I needed one more. <laughs> I thought I could make it. <laughs> I thought I could make it. Oh wow, I really suck. Okay, come on. Get out at me, bro. Oh shit. There we go. Hey, you missed. Hey, you missed. Hey, you missed. Oh shit! Hey, you missed. <laughs> you want to try again? You want to try that shit again? Oh shit. Oh, wow, that was really close. Okay. Oh wait, no, we're supposed to jump. Okay. Go, Snowy! Attack him! Ra 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 ra. There we go. Ah, oh, scare the little people. Scare the little people. Oh. Oh, we found the drum. Sabat ko may halawit. Imanyarat. Pakit ka upyo kaya. Yeah, we found his drum. Okay, now what? Sure, I outsmarted them, but like seriously though, it took a while. Anyways, I think we can go this way. E. Yeah. Come na na. Yeah. Ah, uh, no, no, I need your help. You gotta grab the shit. And you gotta... I'm... Uh, how do? Oh, come on, it's okay. Oh, no. Push it. Yeah, there we go. We gotta... Get Foxy to, like, do her Super Mario wall jump. Or, like, snowy. Oh, wait, hold on. Where's that? Where's the wall? I can't even see it. Uh, hold on. How am I supposed to? Okay, hold on. I think, hold on. Yeah, stop it. Snowy. Snowy, jump over this box. You're not stuck, Snowy. You just gotta jump. There you go. This, these keys are really slippery. Ah! Okay. And jump! Ah! Whoa! Wow then, hold on. Ah! Okay. Huh! Ah! I can't see! Hold on. Okay. Uh. Oh, I can wall jump there? Shit. Okay, hold on. Okay, okay. Shit, I didn't know I could wall jump through that wall. Shit. Okay, okay, okay. I got this. Okay, and then. Wait. Can you push it even closer? I guess not. Okay. Oh. Whoa! Yeah, I got it! Yeah, okay. Coming, I'm coming, Nuna. It's okay, I got it. Yeah. There you go, Nuna. Climb up, Nuna. Yes! I didn't realize I could wall jump the other the cliff, like on the side. Huh. I got your drum. There you go. What's that? 
Yay, he's so happy he got his drum back! Yay! Okay, so what did we exactly did we get though? Do we go this way? I think so, yeah. Vola. Village Horizon, okay. Okay, so like, uh, whoop! Not that. Oh, oh, maybe we got a bola! Which is that thing, but I don't even know how to use it. Oh, hold on. We don't go this way, do we? Because Miss Foxy can't get up. Wait, no, Foxy can. Clive, there we go. Okay. Do we even go this way? I don't even know. <gasps> oh. That's... Oh! Okay. Do we do go this way? Ooh, aim to- Okay! Bola! Bola time! Bola time! Oh shit. <laughs> Where is my mouse? Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay, okay, I see, I see, I see, I see. Bola time! Nope, that's too low. <laughs> okay, uh, right about there. No. There. Yeah, I got it! Yay! Hey, Loon! Oh my god! Okay, come help. Help me. Do I jump on your head? Okay, I jump on your head. I jump on your head. Oh no. Ooh, there we go. Okay. Where are we going? <laughs> are we j oh, you're just gonna use this? Okay. There we go. Come, Nuna! Nuna, come. There we go. Whoa. Ice. Okay. Do I gotta bola it? Gotta bola? Yeah. Let's try bolaing it. Bola! There! Haha! <laughs> Coo. Coo coo. Oh, oh no. Oh, I forgot to brace. Right? There's this thing called bracing. Okay. Oh. Oh, more bola. Bola time! <laughs> no, no, no. Bola time na igilehotik. Okay. Nibi aksiang rwalum atuka upium aichuta. Uh, uh, no. Okay, so we got ourselves a bola, which is the little sling thing that we that we saw in the beginning of what, the whole story. <gasps> no! <laughs> I knew there was a bola thing! Ah, oh, shit! I'm so sorry. I just kind of impulsively jumped. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. Oh. Okay, let's try this again, and we're just gonna bola. Bola time. And... No! <laughs> no, why are you doing this to me, Wind? I was in the middle of Bola. Okay. And... Bo no! <laughs> okay, got it. I got it. Oh, shit. I got, I got the Bola. Huh? Loon! Loon, Loon. Loon, Loon. Oi. Oh, brace. Brace yourself. Okay. Okay, get on. And we jump. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh. Whoa, whoa. Oh. Okay, so I am... I gotta go down as a little snowy. But then I got a bola. How to bola it. Oh, can I... Yeah! Oh, I can... I need to grab it to her. Yeah. Yeah. Can you... Oh, there you are. Oh, loon. Loon, loon. Oh, catch me, Lulun! <laughs> catch me, Lulun! There we go. Okay, now. Uh, Bola. Bola, right now. Yeah! Aw, oh, this, this thing is so helpful. Oh, Lulun. <laughs> Lulun. Okay. Oh, you, you expect me to jump? Okay. <laughs> eh, come, Snowy. Uh. Okay. 
We good. Oh, more bola. Oh. We got a bola. No. You need to turn around to do that, Nuna. Yeah. So we got a magical bola that can like get spirits to help us. Well, this loon spirit to help us, which is cute. Come on, Nuna. It's okay, Nuna. You can do this. Ugh. I know it's really windy, Nuna, but seriously. Okay, we on. Okay. Okay, Nuna. Nuna, you need to... No, no, you need to like get your shit together. <laughs> okay, but are you? Am I? Oh, hold on. Oh, it's windy. I think that's the point, though. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Come, away we go. Okay. Oh. <gasps> Oh no! Oh, leave us alone! Oh, why do you? Why do you? Oh, leave us alone! No! 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 Oh. <laughs> I was trying to run. Okay, girl. Okay. Hey, bola. Oh wait, I was supposed to bola this. I'm so stupid. I'm sorry. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, we're supposed to be running. Oh, I'm 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 freaking out. <laughs> we're supposed to be running from this man, and then we're supposed to bola this shit. Bola. Quickly! No, what was that? <laughs> Woo! Oh no, he got my fox! No! Oh, it was the thing that he was searching for, the bola thing. Oh my god. Oh, oh run, run, run! Ah, oh, no! What the hell? Okay. I don't know where the hell my bola aim is. It's just so hard. Oh. Okay. Run, keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running. So good. Keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running, don't run. Ah, keep running. Oh, bola. Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh, he got my fox! Oh, <laughs> this is so hard! Okay, at least I know when to bola. <laughs> Shit. Oh, that got me? Are you kidding me? Oh my god, okay. I really suck at aiming with my bola. <sighs> okay, Shit. Hey, Nona, you really need to work on your fucking aim, Nona, with your fucking bola. Okay, right up here, we got a bola again. Wait, not yet. Okay, right here. I really need the spirits right now. Where are the spirits? I need help. <laughs> Don't tell me to bola again because I cannot do it for the life of me. No bola! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Please, sir. I really. Ah! I would really love for you to leave me alone. Ah! Leave me alone. <laughs> this is my bola. <laughs> Bola, because god damn, I suck at it. <laughs> at least they got me a checkpoint here. God damn. Uh, 
No, it's my bola, bitch. Oh shit. Ah! Oh no! What the fuck? Oh, I got a bola here too. <laughs> oh shit! I got a bola so much. I really hate this. I hate quick time events with the bowling. I can't bola. <laughs> I can't fucking bola. No, thank you. My bola. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna fuck up here right now. Yep, I fucked up because fucking I can't. <sighs> no. I didn't get it! Oh god. <laughs> this is just giving me high blood pressure, you guys. Okay. Okay, got this. Keep running, girl. Keep running, girl. Don't make me bola again. Don't make me do it. <laughs> Don't make me bola. Ah. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. No, no. There's an iceberg. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, my God. Man, you're so rude. <laughs> The following that, following that, it stopped briefly and then became windy all over again. It was difficult to see anything in the blizzard. Yes, it is. Ugh, that was, that was fucking stressful. Oh shit, this sucks. And this sucks. Oh. What? Oh, what? What? Ah. Uh. Well then, we're stranded. Snowy, you wouldn't happen to have any spirits that would help us, would you? We're drifting. We're drifting. Oh! The guys! Yes! Yes, yes, yes! No seals, please! Oh, there's blood here. Oh. Oh, is it gonna be polar bears? It's gonna be killer whales. There's gonna be a giant walruses that's gonna eat me. Please don't eat me. I am a very lost and scared girl with Ebola that I can't even fucking use properly. <laughs> Anyways, I think you guys, I'm gonna leave it right here because I think it's gone on for quite some time. And I know this game, I know these kinds of games can be like really so like you know immersive and like i can just go on forever but like i just really need to stop myself like i really need to like resist so anyways i think we were on a new chapter anyways so we will come back into the next episode and we will continue on our journey my god it has been such a struggle but hopefully i will get better at it as the game progresses and i learn how to fucking use my bola <laughs> but before that before i end the episode I'm going to watch. Yeah. Let's watch some more the two culture insights that we have, which is which are the little people, the bola, and stranded. So we'll watch these, and then I'll end the episode there. They're just like other people. They just happen to be very small, and extremely strong. These are stories that are common throughout Alaska. And it's normally that people are in a size from your elbow to the tips of your fingers, and they possess superhuman strength. So they may be tiny, but they can carry a whole caribou. And if you go up north and you talk to a number of the people in the community, they'll talk about having seen the little people. There's a place at home that we know, but we don't profess it to anybody. But it's not like the boogeyman. They can be mischievous, they can be ornery, or they can be helpers. And every now and then, 
we might have the opportunity to see them, especially if they want us to see them. The fact that it's across Alaska really tells you something about our history and how we interacted with nature around us. Ah, interesting. So next one we're going to see is called Bola, which I totally suck at using. <laughs> The bola is what we call kilometang. And the kilometang is made out of braided sinew tied out to some heavy bone which you could twirl. In my case, we're catching ducks. When we're out uh, whaling, sometimes the ducks start flying. And they're good for duck hunting. You know, uh, if you're a whaling crew, you can't make too much noise, so you can't use a shotgun for um, getting some duck soup handy, you know? So bolo was a really handy weapon to use for catching ducks. Ah. You know, ducks fly in, you throw it up and tangles up the bird, and down they go. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, yeah, we figured, because we saw the bola in the uh, illustration story in the beginning, and I, I, like I said, I suck at using it. <laughs> and stranded. The scaredest I've ever been, I was 12 years old. We floated out on a piece of ice uh, while we were duck hunting. It was a bluebird day, just clear blue skies. And there was three of us, myself, my brother, and my dad. Next thing you know, we see this dark, dark shadow on the ice. Uh, we look and it goes behind us. So we, we all jumped up startled and uh, my dad, he started running. We got back to the ridge there. The uh, the ice had fractured, cracked, and broke off, and we were floating away. We were we were drifting. <laughs> it was close enough to where my dad would have made it. He stopped and he thought about throwing us across. And if one of us was on the other side, we would be split up. So he stopped, and he just so happened to have a, a cell phone on him. Nine one one didn't pick up. <laughs> That's the worst feeling in the world right there. 911 did not pick up. So he left a, a message because they record their calls. Once he had relayed that information, his cell phone died. <gasps> that was the scariest moment I've ever had in my life. We were floating away and I thought we were left for dead. Uh, he kept calm during this situation. Uh, he's bringing out everything positive in this case. You know, I'm crying, my brother's freaking out. It went from clear blue to dense, dense fog. Within a couple hours, we heard the chopper flying around, so they must have gotten our message. We thought we were saved, and then the chopper sound went away. So we lit some of the sled on fire. It's plastic. We thought black smoke in the fog would create some kind of marker. Chopper pilot uh, had mentioned uh, when we got rescued, you could see a glow in the fog, and he slowed down there, and sure enough, as soon as he slowed down, uh, we got within visual. That was definitely the scariest moment of my life, was floating away and not knowing what the outcome was going to be. Yo, that's so scary, holy shit, yeah, I'd be scared shitless too, damn. Like, as soon as the... As soon as his dad relayed the message, his phone died. It's like, oh, wow. Well, okay, well. Anyways, uh, that is all for today or for this episode. <laughs> for this episode. And so I will see you guys in the next episode. And we will continue our journey as Nuna and Snowy. Unless, you know, one of y'all would come up with like, a really cute name for our little fox friend. But yeah, so far this game has been really... <laughs> It's even though I struggled so hard with it, but like I really I'm really enjoying it. I like I'm so immersed with the story right now. Uh, it's beautifully animated. The art style is like true to you know the setting and the story and the background of the characters and stuff. So yeah, I'm I'm excited to see more from this game. So yeah, so tune in next episode. I hope you guys will come along on this journey with with me. And yeah, like and give a like to the let's play. And then I'll, until then, I'll see you. Bye!